<laughs> if, you, if, if I'm on time, you know I'm hype, right? You know I'm hype. If, you want, if, you, if I'm on time, you know I'm hype. Shout out, shout out, shout out. What it do, what it do. What it do. Let them come in the building. And meanwhile, post the comments about what y'all think about the song, though. Meanwhile, post your comments because I'm going to go back and read it and see. Because I want some of the people to say, you know, what, you know, be like, yo, well, wh what is he talking about? You ain't, he ain't talking about you and this and that. All those people that had something to say and shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's make sure you post your comment about how you feel about the song. Um, Come on in, share, man. Let the people know. Come on in, come on in, because we about to, like, this one going to go, this one going to do some numbers. You feel me? So I'm going to give you time to come on in. <sighs> Shout out that. I just came from a basketball game, man. Shout out, what is it, Whip Wop Tournament, uh, Inglewood. Shit was dope, man. They did a lot for the kids, man. That shit was definitely, you know what I'm saying, something new for me and shit. I ain't know they rock like that. You know what I'm saying? On uh, Inglewood, man. So shout out to them out there, man. That shit was dope. The tournament niggas was balling out there. Shout out to my niggas I knew out there. Um, yo, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, bro. Like when I go to these places, man. When I tell you, I be out here in these streets. I be out here in every city, man. I really do. And, and shout out to the homies, man. That really recognize, man. I ain't gotta say no names, but shout out to the niggas that recognize, man. That you know what I'm saying. Open up doors and let let it be known who in the building. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? And salute. You know what I'm saying? Real recognize real, man. And, and I enjoy that kind of uh, respect, man. And um, the hospitality, man, that y'all give me to come up in there and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's that's y'all area. That's y'all house. And, and you know what I'm saying? And, and it feel good to represent where I'm from. And that's what you recognize me by. So shout out to you know you know all the homies out there that was out there at the basketball game. Um. What else? Yo, shout out to the kids going back to school tomorrow, man. Shout out to the kids going back to school tomorrow. Um, that's what's up, man. Um, root for them, man. Um, you know what I'm saying? They they go, they, you know, it's, it's back around for them to be in school and shit. So, you know, it's, it's a big deal, man, for the parents and everything. And everything going to be new for them and shit. So, shout out to the kids going back to school tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Um and that's what's up. Um, shout out to Q. <laughs> Yo, for real. Before this live is over, man, for real, on the respect for me, you know what I'm saying? Hit, hit, excuse me, hit my man page up, man. You got to hit my man page up, man. His 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 handle, hold on, his handle, man, is, um, hold on, bro. I ain't missing this one. This, yeah, he got the Moment of Clarity. It's called the Moment of Clarity, man. At Moment of Clarity Podcast, man. Um, he's dope, man. He's not only just dope at what he, he you know, his information and his his knowledge about the, this game. Um, hit him up, man. He, he's a real good friend of mine and shit, man. And you got to see what he got going on over there. You got to see what he got going over there. Shout out to my man Q, man. Like <laughs> you already know, a dope friend of mine. When I, when I, when I put somebody out there like that, it is what it is, man. Y'all gonna see us do something real major when it comes to this project, this J project, man. So shout out to Q, man, for recognizing shit for what it is, man. Um, and what else? Oh, don't forget, I know y'all always see Pretty Gangster on my shit, handling shit. Shout out to Pretty Gangster, happy birthday. <laughs> um. You know what I'm saying? I don't know where a lot of Marcy made legal stuff would be if it wasn't for you. Um, you're dope. I appreciate everything you've done and happy birthday and I wish you, uh, you know, having a good one. And I see you still on deck. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to you. Um, and hit her up, man. If y'all looking for some, some law work, some contracts, y'all looking for some PR work, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need to holler at her, man. You know? she, real, she real professional about what she do. Other than that, right? Oh, man, it's been a good weekend. Like, yo, every time Jay do something, man, it, it don't it don't be me, but it it's like y'all go inside my in my box and be like, what I think, and is that you? And then I go listening and shit, and that shit, you know, 
Um, starting off with that, right? You know what I'm saying? We gonna we now we gonna get to that, right? Starting off, let me make sure I ain't skip nothing, man. Um, cause I had to write some notes down because I'm good at forgetting this thing. And I asked y'all what y'all think about it. Yo, when I first heard it, right? It's almost like I forgot Rick Ross and Lil Wayne was on the shit. You know what I'm saying? Realize how long this verse was. And that's what everybody talked about, right? I'm just, listen, I'm, you know, I'm just getting to, you know, how things are with this situation. But how I feel. This is my opinion, perspective with shit. Like, like, why would Rick and or Lil Wayne even allow it? Why didn't he just say, yo, nah, God, let that nigga get the whole album. You know what I'm saying? Shit, if he going, if he going to do that shit, let that nigga get the album and shit. I, I, pull me off. But, you know, that go to show, you know, how much they uh, look up to him. You know, look up to God. Like, look up to Hove like that. You know what I'm saying? For, in their mind, I guess. I'm just, uh, my opinion, you know, shit, I'm on the track with him and shit. But... You see what happens when you think like that? Like, you still, I, I still don't remember nothing you said. You know, I can't remember none of your bars and shit. Not to say that you whack, especially Lil Wayne. I fucks with Lil Wayne, but, you know what I'm saying? That's just me thinking my, you know, my from my perspective. Because if it was the other way around, that nigga would never allow no shit like that. Jay would allow some shit like that. Nah, you, you tripping, man, you know. And, and now, you think 50... Now, just, you know, just K, I'm not, you think 50 would have went for some shit like that? Man. <laughs> nah, it's not. Nah, that shit ain't gonna work. It's almost like that Dame Dash was arguing about the jackets that was Def Jam. You know what I'm saying? But the only difference is this is on music. It's like, yo, this is like J record. Nah, why y'all even on it? Like, this making this look like it's all our record. But anyway... You know, it's just my perspective and things and shit. But I still fuck with Rick and uh, Lil Wayne. Huh. But when we get into the context of the music now, right? And people be like, yo, so what do you think? And, you know, and all of that. But I think about it, yo. I listen to that shit. I don't know how many times, man. And how many times. And it's fire, right? <laughs> it's it's almost like, yo, know, see, for me, for me, right, and I, and, and, and not for the children and the kids for this, because the, that shit go over their head. They, they not in that world. The kid, like, really, unless you study this nigga, and like a lot of young niggas, some, you know, a, a certain following do, unless you study this nigga, you can understand it, but a lot of them, that's the drill, the, the drill era, they they don't even they don't even understand what's going on here. Right? So they, that's just is what it is. So he he over a different class ahead, right? But the people that can't understand, right? It's like I get energized because the shit he talking, right, is um, I'm a part of that shit. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm a part of that shit. You can't, when you start talking about that stove and shit, and you start talking about that turnpike, my nigga, that's me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't like fantasizing and nothing like this. I'm just listening to him take you back into a time where I'm there. Now, let's, let's get that right. I'm there. You know what I'm saying? You can't be mentioned in the pot and the turnpike in certain situations that like I'm I'm there. But the bigger picture is, you know, is how Amory is injected so much, so much, so much, so much, so much to overshadow like I'm not that's not that's just it. That's I'm not there. I'm not there. They you know, you can say you know, he can say Emery a million times, but it's not going to refrain from where I'm at. Because don't forget who Emery is. Don't forget where Emery come from. You know what I'm saying? Is if you listen to Choke, now that come from, Emery come from my litter. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? That's my litter. You get what I'm saying? So get that right. Now, Choke, that's what you mean when they say, yo, 
when they, you said the white boy said, uh, oh yeah, we got the litter. Yeah, that guy, that's, he comes from my litter. Uh, niggas that know how to get money. You understand? But, you know, it is who it is what it is, but it go to show this is why Marcy made so important to show my side of the story. Because, see, my side is just showing you that. This is, I'm there. I'm just telling my story. My side of the story is just showing you I'm there. No matter how much they try to, you know what I'm saying, um, navigate away from my shit and give it a new narrative like I just wasn't there. So don't get me wrong, I'm, se I'm I'm celebrating, I ain't mad at him, you know what I'm saying, because I'm a part of history, he can't erase that. I'm just telling my story that makes you feel, you know, I'm there, you're not going, you know, you, you want to see the whole story or y'all niggas want to see what he's saying, and it's cool, whatever. But when he start talking that shit, he talking us, bro. He talking my life, he talking the real shit. He talking about niggas that would have sold they soul and would have died for that shit. He talking about what he saw. He talking about my. He talking about my, our lives, niggas that sacrifice for real. So it's so deep. The music is so deep, and his words is that's it's like fentanyl to these niggas. To it's really like fentanyl to these niggas' minds that that could relate to this shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it's so deep. You know what I'm saying? He talking that Emery did ten. Came back, got interest, did do all this and this. Not mention, you know, Emery's my co-defendant. Don't get it fucked up. You understand? Don't get it fucked up with the names and in, in order in that shit. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, Emery did 10. I ain't do nothing. You understand what I'm saying? And it is what it is. It just shows uh it just shows, uh, you know, how they try to uh, rewrite history. I'm here, my nigga, and Marcy May. Shout out to Tubi. Y'all ain't seen Tubi yet. Y'all ain't seen my shit on Tubi yet. Y'all better share that shit. Shout out to Tubi, man. We doing good numbers. I don't want to switch off the track, but shout out to Tubi. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't seen it, get at it. Share it. Keep sharing it because we coming up off of that. Um... So when he started talking like that, you know what I'm saying? Emery in 10 years and this and that and all this. Yo, what we sacrifice for this game. He talking about real shit. But it just ain't him. It's us, that niggas that was really in the trenches. He will never have these stories to talk about if he ain't see this shit. You understand what I'm saying? And it's just so real with it. He said he got away. His record is clean. Clean, my nigga. You feel me? His record is clean. Why you think that, my nigga? Why you think his record is clean? Because real talk, when I say, yo, it would be none of this shit without me, my nigga. It would be none of this shit without me. It wouldn't be no Rockefeller, Dang Dash, all that shit without me. Because you guys, you, you label me as a snitch, right? You know, we knew that shit wasn't official. But real facts is, if I was to snitch, nigga, it would never, nobody be out here. None of y'all niggas would be telling no story. So who saves who? Nigga, who say who, my nigga? Need to keep that in mind, my nigga. Y'all need to keep that in mind, my bro. Really, Emmy only did 10 because he did 10, bro. That's just it, what it is, because he got caught. But if I wanted to, if, it was, if, if I was a snitch, my nigga, we all be fucked up, right? We, it would never have been a Rockefeller, right? And we all know that. So I share the success with you, my brother. I ain't hating, my nigga. I love the music. I understand what it's about. But that's just showing. I'm just breaking it down to how that shit be relating, bro, to who it comes back to all the time. You be shouting out this real nigga shit, my life. You be shouting out real shit that real niggas done, that y'all wish y'all would have done. And when you start talking about, shout out to Tilo. Home, rest in peace. Sir, 
one of the realest. We all know one of the realest. Shout out to Tilo. We one of the realest. But case in point, don't ever get it fucked up. We know who Tilo is, my nigga. Keep in mind that Tilo, that's my right hand, right hand. And I'm going to leave that on your note. Keep that in mind. That's my right hand's right hand. And God forbid if Tito was alive and them two together out on the street, that industry would have never been the same. And I'll keep that a hundred with you. So when you shout out real ones, nigga, that we know, we already know, son, you live, y'all, you know, you speak through our lives, man. And it's cool, bro. <laughs> it's cool, bro. Get your billions. It's all right, my nigga. It's good. You know, it's all love because I'm going to eat. I'm just telling my story. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? When you, like I said, when you relate to that turnpike and all that other shit, bro, that's my, that's our lives. What the fuck? You can't take me from that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not begging you to mention my name, bro, because I'm telling my own story over here. Shout out to Tubi again. You know what I'm saying? And Amazon, man, for keeping it 100. Yo, yo, it's just been it's just successful, bro. And, you know, I, I hate this saying for the haters, man. I appreciate the haters, man, for all the energy that I get. But you can't tell me what God did. When I tell you God did, for me, God did. You understand? That shit, he just finished telling me. It ain't God that got you out of jail. I'm going to tell you this, my nigga. And I don't know if you know my own. Oh, all right, nah. I don't know if you know my story. Are you back on? Give me a thumbs up if my shit is back on. Give me a thumbs up. Can you hear me? You hear me? You right. So when you tell this young nigga me that Hov let you got, if he, if he believed that you got him out of jail, my nigga, you already lost, King. You already lost, little King. If you believe that, you don't. You, that's why you need to see Marcy May, bro. Because I was there. I was there at that moment. Who I thought I got. I got uh, unfocused on who God was, but I found out who God was. You know what I'm saying? These niggas sitting here playing word games with this in, 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 with this religion and God got y'all messed up. <laughs> but anyway, I tell you what. Everywhere where I'm at right now, where way Marcy made is doing, that's God's work for real. <laughs> you understand? That's God's work for real. And what else I want to address to that? And I love, like I said, man, I love it. The music is, you know, that shit is like fitting on to the streets, man. That really for the niggas that recognize what that shit is. That shit is like fitting all out here. You know what I'm saying? He killing it. He doing what he do best, man. That's like I keep telling you, that's that's therapy for him. That's therapy for him. And, and it's sad that, you know, the way he's laying it down and mentioning Emery and this and keeping me out the box and loop, it is what it is. You know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm cool with that because I have the opportunity to tell my own story and shit. So it's just two sides to two, two things, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, man, when you start talking about people save people and people save people, real talk, man. If, if you called me a snitch, then you, you ain't go to jail, then how, you know? Truthfully, I saved everybody. Truthfully, I saved everybody. You can go to the transcripts. You can go to the paperwork and see that. You know what I'm saying? So, always keep and remember that, bro. <laughs> I saved everybody. I saved everybody. You know what I'm saying? Emery took the fall, but I saved everybody. Keep that in mind. You know what I'm saying? OG style. Like, shout out to everybody that's been supporting, you know, Marcy May. Like I said, Tubi, man. Like, at some point, boy, we're going to be doing a deal. You know, we got some shit going on. And God has been good. Um, Stay with me, man, because, like, we're about to start showing you some, uh, you know, the next chapter. Because we, we, like I said, we on a new level. There's new devils and shit. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it. And like I said, this ain't no hate Jay-Z shit. Just let you know the facts. You know what I'm saying? Share this. You know what I'm saying? Share this. Share the facts, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, if you ain't seen Marcy May, you, you know what I mean? You playing yourself or you on here hate. I'm out. I'm going to leave you with that. Matter of fact, yeah, I'm out. I'm going to leave you with that. And I'm going to tone out. I'm going to listen to that shit a few more times. The shit is fire, yo. He should have did the whole shit by himself. I don't understand. 
You know what I'm saying? And, and I wanted to prove a point with, yo, like, Kendrick Lamar, right? When you, when that bitch don't kill my vibe shit, when, when Jay murdered that track, it's like, Kendrick was like, oh, hell no. No, 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 no. Kendrick, that shit made Kendrick shit go to, like, that's how you do it. You understand? You see how Kendrick did it? You know what I'm saying? He let Jay flow, and after he heard that shit, oh, nah, Kendrick said nah. So shout out to Kendrick, man. At Kendrick the bar, tell him I was on to that shit when I, when I heard it. And that you right. You killed it after that, bro. That you, it, He bought something out of you, my nigga. I could tell he bought something out of you, my nigga. That, that, I, that shit touched me. But anyway, that's how you're supposed to do it, man. You don't let no nigga, uh, you know, play yourself like that. But I'm out, man. Shout out to everybody. Don't forget, you know, OG Certified is popping always over there, man. Shout out Industry Labs. Um, appreciate everything. Yo, we be, we be working, man. We, like, I don't be having no time for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Peace to them, to, to niggas that don't be... Don't waste my time. Peace to them niggas that ain't. Don't, don't waste my time. Man. I'm about my business. Um, salute to all the other niggas that's in the street, man. You know what I'm saying? Doing, you know what I'm saying? Hard work trying to make shit happen. Um, man, and it's just a blessing to have a good team, man, and, and have good people around you and see shit happening. You know, like I said, I, I like doing this. I said nothing bad about them dudes, man. They, as far as I'm concerned, you know, the, you know, I'm happy for them, man. Their success is my success. But like I said, I'm, I'm a part of something that's great. You know what I'm saying? And I know, and I know in my heart that that's there only because I'm a stand-up nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm a stand-up nigga for real. And I know, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to celebrate with that shit, man. And I'm reaping my, my rewards the way I'm supposed to, man. By, you know, doing what I do. So shout out to you. Um, don't forget... Um, Enjoy the rest of your birthday, pretty good. So I appreciate you for being here with me on shit on your birthday. Um, shout out to my peoples in Philly, man. Um, I'm getting ready to holler at y'all. Um, I got some things, man. I got it's a lot going on, man. Um, just stay with me, man, and keep sharing. Marcy made. I'm always on my gram answering, man. I'm gonna look through these comments. Um, and I love this shit, man. Um, I love this shit, man. And, and it's just what it is. And I'm out.